Now, let's get it on. This pilot bails at the last moment after a stuck piston causes his CF-18 Hornet to crash. Thankfully, he managed to land safely and wasn't injured. Life on an aircraft carrier is hard, but it gets a whole lot harder when accidents like this happen. This next video shows an F-18 Hornet that was supposed to land on the carrier. Unfortunately, an arresting cable broke, causing it to dive into the sea. Watch closely as the pilot ejects right as the plane is about to descend to its watery grave. But it's about to get even worse. The broken arrestor slingshots back towards the crew on board the ship. Watch the man in the yellow shirt as he manages to jump over the cables not once but twice, escaping what very well could have been severe injuries. Building a space rocket is very expensive and takes years of hard work, so imagine seeing this when it finally launches. Watch as these fighter jets almost collide with each other. These planes both wanted to land at the same time. Watch this terrifying moment a plane flies into a sandstorm. Thankfully, the plane returned safely. Only moments before this airplane was about to take off, a bird was sucked into the engine and the pilot quickly hit the brakes. This medical helicopter experiences a malfunction and crash lands on a hospital roof. Oh, oh my God. The wreckage missed the roof's edge by only about 15 feet, and everyone on board survived with no severe injuries. Check out this rare and beautiful moment when an airplane creates rainbow contrails. Have you ever seen a homemade helicopter? This incredible man by the name of Ken Wallace was a famous British aviator and served in the Royal Air Force as a wing commander in World War II. After the war, he became one of the leading exponents of auto gyros and earned 34 world records. The aircraft was called Little Nelly, and Ken Wallace even had the honor to fly it in the James Bond movie, You Only Live Twice. Did you know that a helicopter can fly even with engine failure? In this video, the engine quit while approaching a mountain, but with great expertise, the pilot was able to keep control of the helicopter and land safely. Oh, oh, engine failure. Oh, all right. Uh, shoot, okay. Ooh, that was crazy. Whoa, uh, so mayday, mayday, mayday. Uh, uniform echo tango, uniform echo tango. 
Uh, Thor, we're gonna be okay. I've got control here. Okay. Uh, you're flying with me. Um, so we're coming down. I see the Stave River down there. We're gonna come down and land on the Stave River there. All right, I've, uh, I've got a spot in mind there. Something that we need to be really thinking about. This is really, really critical. Something that we need to be thinking about. We can't land on those rocks. Like if we slide onto those rocks, we're gonna flip over, right? Okay. And we're coming in. All right, this is gonna work just perfectly right here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Ooh. We're gonna be okay. Woo! <laughs> Nicely done, man. We did it, buddy. What an experience, man. Yeah. Live to die another day, right? <laughs> this helicopter was transporting an empty car when it suddenly dropped from the sky. This F-16 was coming in for a landing just a few feet above the crowd, almost landing too early. 